Would you like to make a book about yourself in which you will be the hero or the main character? You can be the author and illustrator of your very own hero book. Yes! This book will help you choose a problem that has power over you, but making it will also help you have more power over that problem. In the end, we hope you will see yourself as a hero. Before we begin, here is a map of the journey we are going to take. Remember that our problems are like obstacles that we must overcome as we climb toward our goals. As you write your book, focus on finding solutions to problems and on identifying and pursuing your goals. So, let's begin making our books. Now that we've made our books, we can begin to write and illustrate them. For your first page, can you please draw yourself any way you want to? Write down what you're thinking, feeling and doing in the picture. My name's Tiger and this is me here. I'm going to be 11 this year and that's why I'm smiling because it's my birthday soon. I like birthdays a lot, especially when I get a present. But this year, I probably won't get one. Things have changed so much since my last birthday. Maybe there's a hero in your life. Say, in your family or in your community. Whether they're still alive or have died. Please draw a portrait of that person and explain why they are a hero and why they mean so much to you. This is my dad. He died last year. Even when he was very sick, he would buy both of us a meal and we would walk home eating them very slowly to see who could make theirs last the longest. We would also talk and laugh about things. I miss having him around. Now, Please draw a picture of your first memory or an early memory that is important to you. My favorite memory was when my dad gave me a new school uniform for my birthday. We went to the shop together and I put it on as soon as he had paid for it. I felt so happy walking home that day even though I knew it would probably be the last birthday I'll spend with my dad. Draw a picture of the place where you live. And when you draw yourself in the picture, show us how you feel in different places. This will help you see that the obstacle or problem begins outside of you, even though you feel the horrible feeling on the inside. This is the street where I live now. It's a bit noisy and crowded, but I like it because there's always something going on. I don't like the bar though, because drunk people come out there and fight with each other sometimes. Often the police have to come and sort them out. I love coming to the community center where Faith plays games with us and lets us do fun things. All of us come from a family called our family of origin. Often, we are separated from this family. We grow up and leave home, or something happens and we are separated. We call this journey the family road. Now, can you draw a picture of your family of origin, showing which of them are still alive and who you live with now? There were seven of us in our family, but my younger sister died when she was just little and my oldest brother died just before my dad did. He was already out of school and working in the city. 
My other two brothers are somewhere in the city, but I don't see them anymore. I live here now with my auntie and my two cousins, Lillian and Ben. When my dad died, my mom went to work in the city and left me with my dad's family. I miss my mom, but not as much as my dad, because I know I'll see her someday. This is auntie. She doesn't like me much because she says I cost too much money. She always tells me how useless my mom is because she went to live with another man in the city and dumped me on her. This is Lillian. She doesn't like me much either. She tells me that this is her house and not mine, which makes me feel horrible inside. I miss my home and being with people that want me around. That's her sitting over there. We both come to the community center in the afternoon to do things with faith. I bet you Lillian hasn't put me in a hero book at all. What are you saying about me, Tiger? I was just introducing you because you're part of my family. Think of a time that happens again and again, where it feels like an obstacle is getting in the way of your goals, or you feel horrible, or you feel this problem was getting the better of you. I want you to draw that time and explain exactly when it happens, how you feel and how you react. If you were to draw this feeling, how would it look? And write down where in your body you feel it. Lillian always eats my food as well as hers when we get home from school. When I take it away from her, she shouts at me and says that she's hungry. And that it's her house so she can do whatever she wants. This is my house. I get to do whatever I want. Auntie always shouts at me because she says I mustn't cause fight. I try to explain what Lillian's done, but she doesn't care. I get so mad when I get into trouble and it's not my fault. I get hot all over my body and it feels like a mad anger is taking over my body. It almost seems like a monster sneaks up on me and makes me do mean things. Then I just get into more trouble. When a tiger, you horrible child, why did I ever take you in? <laughs>